Now, um, the mother of murdered teenager Brianna Guy um, claims she has never felt such grief as the judge sentenced her daughters to life in prison. That's the family of one of the killers also showed compassion, describing the situation as being beyond their worst nightmare. 16-year-old Scarlett Jenkinson, who for the first time admitted stabbing the transgender teen, will serve a minimum of 22 years. Her accomplice, um, Eddie Radcliffe, was given a minimum of 20 years. Now, joining me now to talk about this horrific story is former special advisor to Michael Gove, Charlie Rowley, and broadcaster and journalist Claire Muldoon. Um, Claire, I'm going to come to you first because yeah. you're a mum. Yes. You've got four, yep. four, yep. four youngsters. Um, what, what do you make of what we've seen with the sentencing and the fact that these two youngsters who were 15 when they committed this crime yep. um, have been named now? Well, I think it's right and just, and I think the reports behind the the atrocity of what happened to Brianna Jai um, unfold. There's been a lot of um, important information that's been released by the police. In fact, on my way to work here, I was listening to a podcast, and the 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 documentation of the WhatsApp messages and indeed the the other messages between the two killers was staggering. Now, I know there's the argument of nature versus nurture, but in my view, Dawn, this is actually pure evil, unadulterated evil. And we don't like to speak about the word evil because apparently we can't be evil or we can be this or that. Everyone can be what they want to be. But this is downright callous heartlessness. And in fact, it mirrors actually in some way what happened to poor Jamie Bulger. Mm. And I think to disclose the names, I think is... I feel very, very bad, obviously, for Brianna Jai's elder sister, her mum, her stepdad, her dad, um, and, and the whole of the school community. But the other, the other impact here is, of, is also on that of the families of the killers, mm. because they have to live with that. As a mother, I, I don't know how you could countenance that, knowing what your child has done. It, it's, it's incredible. It's, it's tough for all the families involved. And they're victims too, Dawn. They are. They really are. Mm. So, with that in mind, the fact that the victims, the, 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 the killers' families, their names are out there, now we've seen pictures of them. Charlie, I mean, should they have been named, do you think? Uh, yes, they should. Um, they are, as Claire said, um, cold-blooded murderers. Mm. Um, and for whatever the reason and for whatever the circumstances in the background, I'm sure a lot of that will be uh, coming out in the press. But um, uh, these are people who uh, premeditated, uh, well, planned an attack yeah. to lure a teenage girl, one of their classmates, a transgender girl, uh, into the woods to brutally stab uh, multiple times uh, to take a life from someone uh, is uh, abhorrent, it's sadistic, it's brutal, it's everything uh, the judge described it to be. And for that reason, absolutely, it is going to be difficult on, on families on both sides, but it is in the public interest yes. to know exactly who these two were, why they did what they did, uh, and what they did, and the detail of, however uh, uh, evil, as Claire said, and however um, difficult it is to hear, it is absolutely in the public interest to know. Do, do you think, though, Claire, that there is a danger now that we'll remember their names rather than Brianna's? No, I don't. I really don't. I think um, as what's happened to uh, Thompson and Venables, mm. they actually, I think they've been put into witness protection, one of them who, or th th there's something gone on. Um, and I think this, the same thing will happen because they will be incarcerated, I think, uh, Justice Yip said, for 30 years, was it, the sentence? Yes. Um, so they're only 16 now. Um, so they, they will still have, you know, a formative life after sentence. Well, it, well, it's 22 years and 20 years, um, but as you say, they must serve a minimum of 20 years, and they are only 16 now. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Brianna has no more life. It, 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 absolutely. And um, the, the one thing I would say, which I just think is really important, is the... Um, uh, and I don't know if it's been talked about enough, which is... And there's no blame, there's no excuse, absolutely, but it's the, 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 the ills, I think, of the dark web and social media. And the reason I bring that out is because uh, uh, Brianna uh, Jai was uh, a very well-known social media... TikToker. Uh, she had 30,000 followers she, she on had, TikTok. She had thousands of followers because of her journey, because of her story. But the reality was she was incredibly lonely. Mm -hmm. uh, she had difficulties. She didn't make friends 
things easily, and that makes this murder even more uh, sadistic because she was lured on false pretenses mm -hmm. that she had friends and was going to be killed. But also, the perpetrators turned to the dark web uh, to work out, to plot, to plan, to um, uh, uh, produce such a crime that they did. It is the ill and the horror of a modern-day society, and that's very different to the Jamie Bolger, because obviously you didn't have the internet. Yes, but that's my, that, I was, yes. I was going to make that, mm. that, that, that same point. The dark web didn't kill Brianna no. Jai. Those two evil, evil, evil children killed her. And the, for, it, honest to goodness, I think the way this has been reported now is really good because there's a lot of facts out for the public to learn from. The messages, the forensic planning mm. that those two did together. We've seen the together. notebooks mm. in, in the pink sort of like gel pen that she... Uh, that and the messages went writing. from, oh, I'm having my tea, to did you buy the knife? It was that disjointed, it was that disparate, it was that unusual... Well, they made really? it sound normal, didn't they? They normalised you know, it and, completely. And, and exactly. And after the murder, I think it was Eddie Ratcliffe just got on the bus and went home and... In and, the blood-stained clothes blood -stained, of Brianna as, as, if, as if nothing had happened. So you're, you're absolutely right. These are two individuals who, regardless of the background or whether the, the web was used or not, they are cold-blooded murderers. It is absolutely right that they've been named. Uh, and um, uh, I think, you know, the judge has handed the most appropriate sentence. So, obviously, with, with the other case, everyone's very aware of, of, of our, um, the, the murder of... Our, um... Uh, uh, Thompson and Venables. Yes, um, Jimmy Bolger. Uh, yeah, Jenny Bolger, sorry. Now, they didn't have social media. They weren't involved no. by that quite clearly. But we, we also know they came from incredibly troubled backgrounds. No excuse. I'm not saying that's an excuse. Well, these two didn't. Nothing. Exactly that, clear. Now, we know that with Jenkinson and Ratcliffe, they didn't. They no. had what is perceived as good family. Yes. So... How can this happen? Where, what went wrong? See, I think that's, I, I think that's where the web came into this. Where mm. I said the dark web didn't kill Brianna Jai, these two did. The, I think the web definitely enabled and got them thinking. But even their journey to when they met together... I mean, it, there were six other children that they'd planned to kill. Mm. Yes. So this is not, you know, a, an isolated incident, unfortunately. Unfortunately, they were caught. Yeah. But so the other six or five could not have been murdered. So when did this start? I don't know, but it goes back to my previous initial point of they're intrinsically evil. What, what is evil, Charlie? I mean, can a baby be evil? Is it born evil? Um, look, I think, you know, we've all probably got uh, 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 genes that, you know, if tapped onto, if there's a trigger or if something, you know, goes wrong, then, then it could be exposed. But I don't think... Uh, I'd like to think people aren't born evil, but I do think, you know, it is, there is a nurture, uh, a nurtured aspect to it. So I think if you live in an environment that's sort of you know, covered in litter, graffiti, smashed windows and all the rest of it, you're more likely to probably drop your can of Coke or, 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 or chocolate bar wrapper or whatever it is because you, you, don't, you don't believe in the society, you're not um, uh, contributing to the community, it's all run down, you end up you know, running it down yourself. Mm. So I think there can be aspects of the nurture that changes your personality depending on the situations you're in. But I think that is something for the vast and overwhelming, obviously, absolutely the overwhelming majority of us, but what makes two people from very normal backgrounds... Mm so far as we know, um, uh, but to go online to be triggered by whatever it is that they've been triggered by, to plot and plan, to do all of the evil things that, that they, they've done, and it is right to use that word, evil, mm -hmm. um, to go on and then carry it out, even just thinking about it, or, research, you know, is some sort of fantasy. Well, there's fantasy, but then there's carrying out the reality mm -hmm. of it, um, which is even more uh, one, difficult. One word that I'm glad I haven't heard in any of the reporting is mental health. And that, I mean, I would have hated those two to have been given any leniency in any, any form of, of, of forgiveness or, um, you know, uh, minimisation, actually, of what, what they had done by using the mental health card. Well, it's interesting. The judge did say that her, um, Jenkinson, Scarlett Jenkinson, the girl, had been diagnosed with a severe form of conduct dissociative disorder, but it wasn't responsible mm. for her but Exactly. Um, I, I, we have to. Um, unfortunately, we have to move on. But fortunately, because it's such a, such a, a, a hard story. To mm. talk it about. is. Um, so thank you very much for joining me. That's Claire Muldoon and Charlie Rowley. They're talking about one of the one of the two big horrible stories today. Thank you.